Clicktail records and plays back your visitors' entire website browsing sessions, including every mouse movement, every click, and every keystroke. All you need to do is add the Clicktail JavaScript to the pages you'd like to record, and within minutes, visitor movies and heat maps will be generated and waiting for you in your secure Clicktail account. Based on the settings you choose, Clicktail will randomly record a fraction of your website visitors. Once a visitor is recorded, they will continue being recorded on all subsequent visits, showing you their entire browsing history. Some premium Clicktail subscriptions enable recording of visitor activity in secure HTTPS pages, such as shopping carts, as well as inside login protected areas. After entering the Clicktail application, select a project to analyze and the day you'd like to focus on. Clicktail displays all the visitors recorded on that day. Each row represents the entire recording history of a single visitor and includes the number of pages Clicktail has recorded for this visitor, their browser type and version, country of origin and language used inside the browser, when their latest visit happened, when they were first recorded by Clicktail, active time, which is a measure of visitor engagement and is based on the amount of time the visitor was actually doing something like moving their mouse around. This may vary considerably from the length of time the visitor's browser window was open, which is displayed by length. Referrer page, which shows where the visitor came from. Entry page, specifying the first page they landed on. And tags you can set up using the Clicktail API to label visitor activity which you'd like to track, such as the visitor selecting to purchase an item. Of course, clicking at the top of each column sorts the entire list according to that column in ascending order. Clicking again resorts it in descending order. You can see the complete list of recorded pages for each visitor by clicking on the Show icon. For each recorded page, you can now see when it was recorded, length of recording, total active time of the visitor in this page, where they came from, the page the person visited, which is what could be played back. The time the browser took to fully load the page. What percentage of the page was scrolled into view? And which tags were triggered on that page? To see the entire visitor browsing experience, click on the main play button. Or to see a specific page recording, click on the play button for that page. Now let's see a playback of an entire visitor session. The playback screen shows you exactly what your visitor experienced when they visited your website, even if your website has since changed. The input line displays every visitor input event, including all keystrokes, such as backspaces and tabs, as well as all clicks on the left, right, and middle mouse buttons. The top of the screen shows the number of the current page loaded, as well as the total number of pages in the entire visitor session. You can click Previous and Next to move through the different pages, as well as click the drop-down menu to select a specific page. The playback window automatically updates to display the first frame of the current movie clip. Click the Automatic Next option if you'd like the playback to continue to the next page automatically when the current movie finishes. If you don't check this option, you'll have to click Next when the clip is done, and then click the Play button to see the next movie playback. The default playback speed is set to 1x, which is the original speed in which the visitor browsed your website. You can increase the playback speed to 2, 5, or 10 times the original recorded speed. The scale feature allows you to adjust the size of the playback window. 100% is equal to the original browser window resolution that your visitor used. This may be larger than your current screen resolution, so you may want to select a proportionally smaller window size or use the Auto option to automatically resize the playback window for your screen size. Keep in mind that this option is only available when watching movies with Internet Explorer. It's not currently available on Firefox. Auto Skip allows you to watch movies and skip the periods of inactivity. By choosing one second, you will see a maximum of one second of inactivity, resulting in a dense playback full of action. 
while none will show the original visitor session, including periods of inactivity, when nothing was happening. The time meter shows how far into the clip you've seen, while the next action in meter shows how long until the next action will occur. You can click the Skip to Next Action button to skip periods of inactivity during playback. Or if you pause playback, you can jump to the next action manually. If you'd like to save your current settings as the default for all future session playbacks, click the Save Preferences link. Once you're ready to sit back and watch the action, click the Play button. To view the clip again, click the Reset button, then hit Play. If you'd like to see movies of your own website visitors, sign up today for ClickTail. You can even try us for free.